Hello, Lady Raider Nation. Welcome to a new series that we like to call Live It Up with the Lady Raiders. I'm your host, Zuri Sanders, and for our first episode, Last Year, Best Year, we have our seniors with us. Hey guys, how are y'all feeling today? Good. Great. Great. <laughs> yeah? Great. <laughs> Well, you know, we just had our exhibition game. Season's about to start up. Tell me, you guys, like, what are the emotions that are going through your heads right now? Bryn? Um, I'm honestly, like, I haven't let it hit me yet because I will cry. And so I'm just kind of <laughs> pushing that off for as long as I can. But I think we're just really, I'm really excited. And um, yeah, last year, best year for sure. Yeah. Emotions are a big thing. It's like bittersweet when yeah, you're a senior. I don't deal with emotions. <laughs> We push those off. <laughs> we push them off. What about you, Tatum? How are you feeling? Um, I'm super excited for my last year, but as Bryn said, I also am super emotional. Um, I also will get a little teary-eyed if I think about it, just because all the work and years that you've put in have just all come down to this one last year. So I'm really just trying to enjoy it. I love the group that we have, so I'm really just trying to enjoy it with all them, soak it up with these seniors. and. And see what we can do this season. Right, right. So there's something really unique about these group of girls right here. You guys are all transfers. So you started at a, for a different university before you came here to Tech. Um, let's kind of talk about what made you want to finish your college career under Coach Gerlich. Ella? I would just say Coach Gerlich <laughs> in general. Um, I remember receiving a phone call from her and just, um, you know, she's She's not hard to, you know, say no to. <laughs> so it was, um, yeah, it was like a huge deal for me for her to call me and um, just especially at the time I was going through a whole lot, um, but it was just super comforting knowing that there was a coach out there like her that um, believed in me. And so um, just like kind of being vulnerable here. <laughs> she actually called me when she was uh, recovering from a pretty serious uh, surgery and um, she was still in the hospital and she literally had just gotten out. But that just kind of showed like how important I was to her and like how important her, her job is and um, like what she believes in this place. And so, um, yeah, it was like, it was a no brainer. <laughs> and West Texas is really special. So I started off at Midland Junior College. So coming back out here and being able to be close to my family was um, what I wanted for my last two years of playing collegiate basketball, so yeah. Yeah, I know, especially when you're going into the recruiting process, you want transparency from your coach and you want to see that they really care about you. So if she's going through a hard time and the first thing that she wants to do is call you while she's on a hospital bed, I think that talks a lot about her character and who she is as a person. Exactly. Very genuine. Yeah, very genuine. It's talking, let's talk about generosity, right? And let's just talk about who Coach Gerlich is. You know, Kat, you actually played for her at UTA for a couple seasons and now you're with her here, even though you thought you were done. <laughs> back in the summer. Talk to us a little bit about what made you want to come to Tech and still continue your collegiate career under Coach Gerlich. Um, definitely Coach Gerlich, you know, she's an easy person to follow and um, there's no coach out there I'd rather play for and I feel that uh, I had unfinished business with, you know, her and the whole staff so um, she's definitely the reason I came here and, you know, I owe her a lot. Honestly, got an extra year to figure out what you want to do with your life. You thought you were done at the end of your season at UTA this past spring. Kind of talk to us about what you want to do when it's all said and done. No, I will say thank God for this extra year because at first when I first got out of, uh, at UTA I really didn't know you know it was a bunch of different things I thought you know maybe coaching maybe get into firefighting but um, I think my biggest influences were always my coaches so um, I think just giving back to kids and you know like those who kind of came before you and stuff like that um, definitely just getting into coaching and you know also that's kind of up in the air so we'll see we will see so you know just to wrap things up now um, I really do appreciate you guys coming on to this show and just talking a little bit about your lives outside of Lady Raider basketball but you know the biggest thing about being a Lady Raider is the legacy that you want to leave behind right so with just one word one word to describe how you want to be remembered once it's time for you to hang it up Ella how about you start it off for us I would say genuine and loyal. I would, yeah, I'm always really big about being genuine and like being wholehearted with like everything that I like approach. Um, and so like, especially with like the fan base here, you know, the little girls who like look up to you, I think that's like the most important part is just like making sure that you're a pivotal and a positive figure in their life and just like empowering them that like they're able to do what we do 
at the next level and so um, yeah that's kind of what I want to be remembered for and especially like moving from Sydney Australia and being a Polynesian background and just kind of like getting out and now I'm in West Texas I would have never thought and so um, yeah that's what I want to be remembered for. I love that I love that what about you Kat what's one word? Can I get two words? Give it to us. Let's go. <laughs> um, definitely a great teammate, you know. Um, above all else, the basketball aspect, you can put that aside. Just, you know, being a great person, a great leader, and uh, being a great teammate, being there for them, and, you know, helping, especially like the younger girls, kind of um, get to the college level and, you know, hopefully make some sort of impact in their life. Yeah, yeah. Bren? Um, I would probably say passionate like that's one of our pillar words in this program and I just think that applies to so much more than basketball like being a Lady Raider is more than just basketball even though that's a huge part of it and that's what gets you here um, I just think it's about it's bigger than that as well so being passionate about it everything. I love it. And Tatum. My word uh, is purpose so having purpose just with everything you do uh, my grandma has always been my purpose for everything I do, so just living with that and helping other people find what their purpose is. I love it. Well, again, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to be on Live It Up with the Lady Raiders. And thank you all for tuning in for our first episode, Last Year, Best Year. I'm your host, Zuri Sanders, and as always, wreck em.